Okay, so this is a new idea we have inside the Wikispeed team, uh, an idea that was thought of by David Patrick, of how to connect these different sections of our chassis together. And so this is just a preliminary run through of of the rough sketch of the draft or the rough draft of the idea. It doesn't have everything put in here yet. There's some cables that triangulate the the chassis, some other things. So this is really just to, for David and I to kind of chat about this and make sure we have things right up to this point, and then we can just refine this idea even further. But we want to share it with the whole team anyway. So this is our classic uh, Wikispeed chassis, but the way that it's come together is not welded. It's actually being held together by a series of these connectors that are uh, dubbed WOMPs, the Wikispeed Universal Mounting Plate System. So we're going to look a little bit more about what these WOMPs are all about. So I'm just going to zoom around in here and take a look at one of these WOMPs. So this is the actual unit itself. Um, David's idea is to actually weld these things together. There may be a way that we can actually rivet or glue these things together too. So I'm just, his idea, I've, I've tweaked it a little bit, changed it. He had five holes on the side. This has four holes on the side. There's also three holes uh, right here in this top part of the plate that he didn't have um, that I thought may lend some uh, some new functionality that may not have been thought of before. So. Let's just take spin this thing around. We can see we have this quarter inch plate on the front of this. And the holes go all the way through. There's a center hole there that's an inch and a half uh, wide. And it kind of just barely fits in the square. If we explode these pieces out, it's actually five pieces of aluminum that are all held together here. And you can see that the four angle irons or angles are all the same size and shape. And yeah, so just a, a nice little uh, unit that once it's all put together can we can do pretty interesting things with. So this is another unit. This is actual all the parts and pieces inside of uh, the bottom portion of the the chassis and you can see there's two wumps here. There's a wump here and a wump here that's fully inserted and then these are four pieces of angle uh, aluminum that go inside of the the chassis tube and then this plate bolts in the bottom. We can spin this around, look at this. These uh, angle pieces will have holes in them, of course. They don't have them right now because we're still just uh, developing this idea out and making sure we have things aligned correctly before we go any further. This is a similar uh, unit. This is, actually goes in the top portion of the chassis. And this, this top quarter inch plate actually fits inside of the, the four inch tube. So it's a little bit skinnier than the other one. So similar configuration though. And then this is an x-ray view of the chassis, looking at all the different parts and pieces inside of it. So if we zoom in on this corner, we can see this x-ray view. This is that top piece. There's a wump here and a wump here. Here's these angle iron pieces, the short pieces and the longer pieces. And that plate sits inside of that, that tube there. You can see there's these holes here that accessories and things can be clipped into or uh, roll bars can be inserted down into. I think that's the intention of David's idea here. You can look down inside the tube and see the, the angle pieces inside of it. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see inside the bottom tube, we can see the plate is actually outside of the chassis. It's on the bottom side of that tube there. And we'll flip this around and take a look at that. We can see just a little bit better. Here's this wump. This wump are designed to actually seal off a section of the four inch aluminum tube. And so what that does, it just creates a structural stability into that tube also allows it to be riveted or screwed through into the part that it's connecting to as well. So there, we don't see the rivets here now, but there'd be rivets holding in this wump into the end of the, the, the chamber. And then we'd use either four or even possibly more holes to secure it to the, the, the piece that it's connecting to at a 90 degree angle. There we can see the bottom plate a little bit better. Flip it around and just look at all the parts and pieces. So this is one area that is a little bit disconcerting. So in this center section, we have these four connection points here that are in the middle of the chassis. And I'm not sure how we actually get into and connect these wumps. Uh, we could drill holes on the side of this chassis rail, but that would significantly decrease the strength of it. So I'm not sure what the idea is on how these are going to be connected together. So that's just one, one concern I wanted to bring up. And then this is the plates at the back of the chassis. Uh, 
similar to the front, but there's not a rod, there's not a, a section connecting these two together. So we'll just flip it around, take a look at these. Similar, exact same plates that we used in the front will be used in the back as well. And that is pretty much it. Um, there's also some triangulation. So there'd be cables that go along the length of this, crisscrossing inside of each one of these triangles. Uh, there's also a crisscross between inside this this lower bottom portion of the passenger chamber. Um, I see there's a problem with that as well because the interior module actually slides down inside this and goes all the way to the bottom. If we have triangulating cables going across here, those will be in the way. They could maybe go underneath uh, the interior module, so actually somehow make them lower than the chassis, but then they're more prone to be um, abraded going over speed bumps or curbs or, or something like that, or just uh, deteriorated due to uh, salts on the road or just normal wear and tear or just road debris hitting them and stuff. So just wanted to bring up that concern as well. Otherwise, I think we have kind of a lot of the core ideas of, of David's system here in this drawing. Um, just going to get some feedback from him, and we can take this a little bit further. We don't have any of the anchor points in there yet, but we will get those next. And this is, of course, what it looks like outside of the x-ray view. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the video below or send them to info at wikispeed.com. Thank you very much.